A Sheboygan mother goes on Facebook Live after a shooting, not realizing it was her son who was shot. Sheboygan police say they shot him after he assaulted and took an officer's gun. Christina Van Zels joins us live now. And Christina, you spoke with that man's mom. Steph, that woman says that her son had just left for the store and it was about five minutes later. She says she heard gunshots. She had no idea that what she was filming was actually her son on the ground. Well, I sat on my couch. I heard gunshots. After hearing those gunshots outside her home. That's crazy. Terry McKenzie's first reaction was to go live on Facebook. Some black boy got shot. The police done shot him. It wasn't until several hours later, she says police told her it was her son, Tommy Dixon. And I'm like, oh, my God, they got somebody's child sitting on the ground, you know, shot up the police and shot up this child not knowing it was my child the whole time. Sheboygan police say they were called to 13th and Superior just after 6 p.m. for reports of a man waving a gun around. Police say when they approached the man who fit the caller's description, they say he lunged at and assaulted an officer and then took the officer's handgun. That's when a second officer shot the man. I'm not understanding why we are here. Police have not identified the man, but McKenzie says it is her son who had just left for the store. She wants the truth. We have these conversations so he know how to address the police. If he even stopped by the police or if police said something to him, he already know how to acknowledge the police. Police took the man into custody. Then Flight for Life took him to a hospital in Green Bay. Both officers have been placed on administrative leave per policy. Mackenzie says her son is expected to survive but is still waiting surgery. The West Bend Police Department is leading this investigation. Reporting live in Sheboygan, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Christina, thank you.